skip this part. He told me to lay on my side. So as I'm laying on my side, the other nurse is still putting little tubes down my little um, my nose, making sure I get my little oxygen and stuff. And um, she, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, can you pull the tube thing down? Because I felt a little choked up already because I'm already fluffy. So you want me to lay on my side and the little tube thing right here, I feel like you, you choking me like, I feel choked, right? And she was like, she banged on me, y'all. Banged on me. She was like, you don't worry about what we do. You just try to focus on calming down. Yes, child, yes. I calm down. I calm down. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, she get a pass. She gets a pass. She gets a pass. But I should call Kaiser and tell on her snitch. I should be a snitch. But um, so I did what she said. And I was like, oh, you know. Mm. right and so I calmed down then I guess um as she was doing me while she's telling me all that the medicine was in my body so I was knocked out but you were sedated so therefore you're not really knocked out knocked out you could still I guess you can still feel it or whatever and that's what I did and that's the reason why I'm doing this video because they put the tube thing down my throat bam I don't remember that but what I do remember is feeling it all in my throat like uh, uh, wait a minute so I don't know exactly what I was doing but I know my and my eyes is closed I thought they was closed I really don't know but I do not couldn't see nothing and the lady, I did feel her. You can still hear. You can hear everything or whatever. Um, the lady was pushing on my hand. She was holding my hand. I don't know which lady was, but she was holding me down. Because I guess to me, I was trying to pull the tube up out of my throat. Get it out of me. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get it up out of me. So they was holding my hands and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, my God. But in my head, it felt like a dream. It felt like I was in a dream. Like, um, like man, I feel like I, I, could, I could take it and, and snatch it out. But... It wasn't working. I, I couldn't do it. And that's because the ladies had my hands pinned down or whatever. And that's all I remember. Next thing I was rolled into the room. I do remember one the nurse. I don't know which lady was. She came and checked my right hand. Because she was like, I had to hold her hand down. So she checked my hand and made sure no bruises were on there. She lucky I didn't have no bruises. Because, man, I would have had some coins. I'm like, she bruised me. Right. But, um... <laughs> Man, I'm so extra. But I didn't have no bruises or nothing like that. I made sure I checked my hand too. But I was good. And um, you know, when you get this procedure done, you can't drive or whatever. And I was like, man, I feel like I could drive because I was up, I was alert. But child, please, you may feel like you alert, but your reactions are slow than the mofo. Child, yes. She like, when y'all feel I move my feet, then I got up, got child. I almost wobbled and fell. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I almost wobbled and fell. And then I tried to get on the bed, kick the chair. My re Your reaction is just slow. So listen to them when they say you cannot drive. Listen to them when they say you can't do anything for like 24 hours or 40 hours. I think it's 24 hours. Listen to them, okay? Because you may feel alert. I feel like I could run a marathon yesterday after my procedure. But child, no. My reactions was delayed, okay? So that's what happened yesterday. And like I said, this is the next day. My throat is still sore. And, um... You can still eat because it's still eight. I still ate. Um, I, I had a healthy meal besides the honey bun, but I still ate healthy though because I'm trying to get fit for the summer. But that's what happens. So if you ever have that procedure, just know when they try to tell you it's simple, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. But it's simple in and out, mm, child, you're going to feel it. Okay, trust and believe you're going to feel it. Just letting you know. You will feel the tube down your throat, okay? And you will be sore the next day. All right, so yeah, and if you look above, you will see the name of the surgery because a sister like me can't pronounce it gastro something on a, mm, that part. Can't pronounce it, but yes, hope you guys do well. And let me know if you have this surgery done before, you're going to get it done because if you need some more details, holla.